Hey there planners. So fourth and final video in my 2022 planning favorites is of course the planners and notebooks that I used in 2022. The ones that I love the most, my favorites. I'm going to go through them one by one, kind of in order of the when I use them and how I use them and talk about what I loved about them and why they might need to be on your wish list or on your gift list this year. So go grab your planners and let's get planning. All right, so all of the things I'm gonna talk about will be listed down in the description box below for with links for you to get to in case you want to add them to your list, pick them up for someone else on your list this year. The first planner I'm gonna talk about is actually digital planning. So I started out 2022 digital planning on my iPad Pro. So I learned so much this year playing around in GoodNote and learning how to use a digital planner. It was really an amazing experience. Now, when I started out at the beginning of the year, I dove head first into all things digital planning and had all of my planners in digital format. I slowly over the year kind of added back in some analog things because I missed it. I love my stickers. I love all the tools and supplies that I've been talking about. However, digital planning has remained a part of my planning system and will for as long as I can, you know, foresee the future. Digital planning will be part of my planning system because of the flexibility, um, the unique ability to use decorative and functional. Um, and I'm actually looking at 2023 to to expand that a little bit further with some new tools that I have discovered. So I won't say any more about that, but stay tuned. I wanna talk more about digital planning and how that fits into my overall planning system. The tool that I use is this iPad Pro, it's the 12.9. It's perfect for digital planning, giving you that feel of having an actual notebook. Um, and I also had a few accessories to go along with it, one being, this gorgeous cover that really looked like a notebook to me. So when I was carrying this, I felt like I was carrying around, you know, my favorite planning notebook. So um, I will have the tools that I used and all of my favorite accessories listed down in the description box below. If you are looking for a new way to plan in 2023, um, if you're curious about the functionality, the portability, um, you know, the ability to talk across multiple devices and always have all your plans with you, I would highly recommend that you do a little bit of digging and diving into digital planning because it has been somewhat life-changing for me from a planning system perspective. So uh, I have lots of videos about digital planning. Um, so I will have some of those listed down below to get you started. I also have a whole series on how to build your own digital planner. And yes, you can do that. I am not a techie person, but I was able to figure it out. And I have built my own digital planners um, that I, customized completely to what I need. So definitely check those out as well. But this may be an item that you want to put on your wish list if you've been very, very good this year. Or if you know someone who's been very, very good this year, this would make a great gift to really dive into digital planning. All right, next up on my favorite planners from 2022 is the Hobonichi Cousin. So 2022 is actually the second year in a row where I have used a Hobonichi Cousin. And I love Hobonichi Cousin. I have really, really enjoyed my time in this planner. Um, I did not use it the whole year, but I did use it for a good portion of the year. So, you know, what I love about the Hobonichi Cousin is how much planning it includes. So it's got weekly pages and you can see, you know, for a good portion of the year, I was really using the weekly pages um, and stickering it up <laughs> and really putting all my plans in here. Also the daily pages. That's really how I use this planner. I really used a lot of freedom with this planner. Everything from poems to doodles to functional stuff and lists. Um, goal setting, you know, favorite planner shops. I just really gave myself the freedom to use these pages in any way that I wanted to. Washi swatches. Um, and, you know, that 
sort of journaling, um, you know, functional, decorative, whatever type format really, really worked for me. And I very much enjoyed the time that I spent in here. Now, one of the things I will say I don't love about it is it gets really fat. It gets really, really fat and hard to carry around. And that was actually what led me to, um, to moving into a different planning system. A planning tool was once it got so fat that I couldn't carry it around. But I did very much enjoy it. Watercoloring, I love to watercolor on the Hobonichi Cousin. It makes such a wonderful creative outlet. So um, definitely loved this. I will say I am not, I did not purchase a Hobonichi Cousin to begin 2023. That doesn't mean that I won't pick it up at some point in time in 2023, but my plans are not to go into the year using a Hobonichi Cousin. To find out what I am going to be using, make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned. But the Hobonichi Cousin or any of the Hobonichi planners really make wonderful gifts for someone you know who um, you know is interested in planning and wants like the full scale yearly, monthly, weekly, daily. It's, it's got it all. So I think this is a great planning tool, very comprehensive, would make a great gift for yourself or for someone else this year. Now I'm sure no one is surprised <laughs> that the Stology is making an appearance in this video because Stology notebooks are like my go-to planning notebook. I absolutely love Stologies and I actually have two sizes here. Um, I have more than these two sizes. I have used other sizes, but these are the two that I use most frequently. The B6 is one that I use for personal planning and the A5 is one that I use for work planning. I used an A5 Stology for work planning throughout this entire year. I will not flip through it because it is work and it is you know, confidential information, stuff I don't want to share, but um, I definitely get a ton of value and the having this amount of pages, also not using a lot of decoration in my work planning, you can see it doesn't bulk up too much. Um, it stays pretty, pretty thin. So definitely Stology A5 for work planning. And then this was the B6 Stology uh, that I put together in the spring absolutely love this planner. I love being able to tip things in. I love being able to tape things down. Um, I love, I just love planning in Astology and the freedom to combine handwritten, hand-drawn things as well as stickers and tip-ins. And um, I just, I just adore B6 Stologies and I can't imagine a future where I don't have some sort of B6 Stology going on in my life. They're fun to look back on because of all the decorative stuff. I, I really enjoy planning in a B6 Stology. So um, definitely check this out. I, I keep blank ones on hand at all times because <laughs> I never know when I'm going to need one. So uh, they do come in different colors. I prefer the black because I always put them in some sort of cover. So this Stologies are definitely something to have on your wish list or to as a great gift for someone because there are just so many different ways that you can use it. So definitely making the 2022 favorites list and probably every favorites list in the future. All right, the new kid on the block for me this year that I absolutely loved planning in was the Erin Condren Petite Folio Planner System. So I did not, uh, I, you know, did some research, heard a recommendation, kind of bought this on a whim and had no idea that I would love it so much. So this was my planner throughout the fall and I absolutely loved this planner. I loved the planner system. I loved being able to customize it. So I actually made covers for all the planner books that I use. You can see those, the different covers in here around the planner books that I used, my wellness planner. And then I had, I've taken it out, but I had a, a checklist notebook in here for groceries. Um, I absolutely loved this system. And the other thing that I loved the ability to do was to have 
um, my own A5 planner books in here. So August, September, and October are the months that I used this. I found this set of A5 um, notebooks. They're tra like traveler's notebook style. I found this set on Amazon. They have dot grid paper and they fit perfectly in here, which is good because the petite planner system is technically A5, but it's actually a little bit smaller than most A5, so the measurements are a little bit different, but these uh, dock red notebooks fit perfectly in there. So this gave me the ability to combine the kind of B6 Stology style planning where I was uh, tip, tipping things in, taping things in, as well as having the structure of the other books, like the monthly book, the wellness book, things like that, all in a traveler's notebook style with a super cute cover. So I really, really loved this planning system. I am definitely going to be coming back to this planning system at some point in time. Erin Condren has great sales going on right now um, and lots of new items in the um, in the petite folio covers and books. Um, so this is a great gift for someone, for yourself or for others. If you are looking to switch it up, you want flexibility, you'd like the ability to add in your own books, but also have that uh, convenience of having pre printed planning books and journals, things like that, guided journals, gold journals, all of that stuff. So I, I have really, really loved this. This is definitely on my favorites list. And I think this would make the best gift for um, someone else who is interested in planning or for yourself if you're looking to switch it up next year. I highly recommend Erin Condren's Petite Planning Folio System. And last but not least, I couldn't forget my current planner that I'm using, my holiday planner. This is my planner for for the months of November and December. It is a Carpe Diem A5 ring bound planner. I don't typically plan in a ring bound planner, but I'm absolutely loving this. I'm absolutely loving it. And the covers from Carpe Diem are extremely affordable. So um, for me, that was important because I didn't know if I would love it. So I didn't want to sink a bunch of money into a ring planner without knowing that I was going to, you know, be able to use it. It was going to work for me. So um, absolutely love this. I will have uh, Carpe Diem listed, uh, ring bound planners listed in the description box below, but I couldn't forget this one. It is a favorite right now. I'm really, really enjoying planning in it. I think the system is working well for me. I'm learning a lot um, and I have really enjoyed making my own inserts uh, to go on the inside, which I have a whole video about. If you're interested in how to do that, I'll have that listed down below, making your own inserts using Canva. Um, so I've really enjoyed that. Again, adding that custom customization and flexibility to my planning system, which I need in any planning system that I use. And um, it's it's very fast. It's very fast planning for me because I'm not doing a lot of drawing in or tipping in. Everything's already printed for me. So um, that is exactly the convenience that I was looking for in the holiday season, but also the structure that I needed. So this has been a good planner as well. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you got some ideas from it for gift list or wish list from a planner and notebook perspective. I hope you enjoyed this series and got some ideas from that. You know, feel free to sneak some items in the cart for yourself as you're shopping for others. You know, that's, we can call it self-care. <laughs> I hope that you, you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to Plan Nanny for more content like this. And as always, thanks for planning with me.